2015 <coughs> IAL C12 question number 14 part B use integration to find the area of the shaded region okay we know now um, the points A and B from part A we know the coordinates and we need to know the area which is enclosed between the line that's given and the curve that's given so most probably the simplest way of dealing with this is to find the area under the curve under the line take away from that the area under the curve okay that can be done in one step actually because it's only those completely enclosed no other areas involved apart from the enclosed area so we can just take the area of the line and subtract from it the area of the curve because the line is above the curve and that will give us um, a positive area and we do that and we'll end up with the area of r okay so um okay so what we have to do here is write down the we've got to find the integral between now we know the point a is the x coordinate is 0 and the point b the the, the x coordinate is 9 so between 0 and 9 we have to find the area between the line and the curve so the area under the line minus the area under the curve so if we take the equation of the line which is 4x plus 3 and we take away from that the area or the equation of the curve which is 2x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 2x plus 3 and we integrate all of that with respect to x between these limits we will get the area required okay that will be the area r okay so let's just simplify this before we begin to integrate. So we're going to have 4x plus 3. We're going to have, so yeah, you have minus 2x to the power of 3 over 2. Let's write that first. Minus 2x to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, and you're going to have 4x minus minus 2x, which is going to give you plus 6x. Okay, and you're going to have 3 minus 3, which is going to give you 0. So you'll end up with this okay so you've got minus 2x to the power of 3 over 2 plus 6x you subtract these from each other okay so we have to integrate this now between these limits so let's go ahead and do that inter integration part so remember we add 1 to the power and divide by the new power so you have minus 2x to the power of now if you add 1 to the power it's adding 2 over 2 which gives you to the power of 5 over 2 divided by 5 over 2 plus and you've got 6x squared divided by 2 and that's between the limits 0 and 9. Okay? So, well, this is like 2 times 2 over 5. 2 divided by 5 over 2 is 2 times. So that's going to give you 4 over 5. So you're going to have f negative 4 um, over 5x to the power of 5 over 2. You're going to have plus 3x squared. Okay, now we're ready to put the values in. Okay, so you're going to have um, minus 4 over 5. Now, x to the power of 5 over 2, x to the power of 5 over 2 is the same as the square root of x to the power of 5. Okay, and we said that x is, we're going to put 9 in there. So I'll put 9 there. It's got 9 to the power of 5. The square root of 9 to the power of 5 plus 3 times uh, 9 squared. And that's going to be subtract from that. You're going to, well, when you put zero into here, it's going to become zero. Okay, so your area will therefore be given by. Now, the square root of nine is three, and three to the power of five is 81 times three. Let's just work that out. You got um, the square root three to the power of five, three to the power of five that gives you 243 so you got minus 4 over 5 times 243 plus 3 times 81 you got 3 times 81 which gives you 243 okay so let's work what that is we've got minus 4 fifths times 243 so you got um, 243 times 4 divided by 5, okay, um, 
and that has to be subtracted from 243. So 243 minus your answer. That gives you 48.6 square units. 48.6 units squared. Okay, and there we have our answer for, for, for question number 14, part B. Thank you for watching.